Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to post a multiple pictures on Instagram. Let's launch the Instagram app first. Then you want to hit on the plus sign over here. The main tip over here to be able to select multiple images will be to hit the square, the double square over here. After that you will be able to select multiple different images that will allow you to create a post that is very similar to carousel okay after finishing selecting the images you want to click next if you have the recent updates of instagram app you will be actually able to add music to your multiple pictures if you click on the upper center of the screen and you click the note icon you will be able to add your favorite song there's three ways that you can go about it. First of all, you can scroll through what is currently popular over here on the For You section. The second option is to browse through the different genres, hip hop, pop, you know, dramatic music, film music, R&B. Third option is, of course, to go up on the search bar and look for the exact song you're looking for. Next step, after finishing adding the music, you can essentially add more pictures this is a pro tip if you simply scroll all the way to the right side there is a new plus sign that was just added to this version of instagram so you can essentially add more pictures without going back without losing the progress especially if you add music already all you gotta do is to click the plus sign what else you can do you can essentially change the contrast from the lower settings in the menu nothing crazy nothing you know unbelievable now when we're on the last step, you can simply want to include some captions, some title, hashtags, three to five. Uh, you want to add probably your audience. Uh, a lot of people are not utilizing the option in which you can simply tag the, the products, not only the people that are involved. And as well, you can actually change the music from this last step. A lot of people don't know about this. If you change your mind, you can simply click over here and change the song, replace the song from this menu at the last step. You don't have to do it. And again, I'm going to give you another pro tip that was not included. You can actually schedule this post. You can schedule this post simply by clicking on the advanced settings over here underneath. And then you can simply click schedule content. When you click schedule content, you will have a pop-up menu where you will be asked, when do you want to post? You want to select the date, you want to select the time, you want to select the, the, the time of the day, which is the a.m. or p.m. And then when you're done, you just hit done. As you can see, our post was just scheduled for 9.40 a.m. on Friday, January 5th. And this is how you post uh, multiple images on Instagram with music and you actually schedule the post. A lot of things have been learned in this video, guys. For example, let's say we want to download, maybe not this video. Let's say we want to download this video over here, okay? Click on the three dots on the top right corner of the video. Then you want to click on the link button, which is situated on the upper right, the second button. We just copy the link on our clipboard. Now let's move to the easier step, which is number two. Go ahead on Google Chrome and look for this app over here. It's called Publer.io. You want to click on this. <clears throat> when you're at Publer.io, I want you to paste the link and click download. This is how simple it is. Why this app is, is preferable? Well, as you can see over here, no ads, no watermarks, no registration. You have two options after you, the video is downloaded over here. You can either download it or you can simply post it. I haven't used the post function. You can simply download it and then go ahead and, and do whatever you'd like with the video. Okay. This is how simple it is to download Instagram Reels for free. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to change your business account on Instagram to a personal account. Let's dive in. First thing you want to launch the Instagram app, then you want to hit the lower right corner. Then when you're at your profile, you want to hit the three straight lines on the top right corner. When you're at there, you want to focus on 
settings and privacy first option then you will scroll down to the section that is named for professionals you want to click on business tools and control when you're at business tools and controls you want to scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and you would find that you could simply switch account type okay this is where you can switch from business account to personal from business account to creator account as you can see currently i have a business account right and i have the options to switch to this both two accounts back to personal and back to creator account what is the main benefit of this well first of all if you want to make your account private right if you want to make your account private you cannot still have a business account because you cannot make business account private you have to go back to either a personal account or creator account and after you switch you can go back and you can make your account private this is one of the main benefits because you will be able to hide your followers your following list your content otherwise with the business account you cannot hide none of these this is how you turn your account from business to personal account. For more tips and tricks like this guys, subscribe and come back for more. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to repost a story from someone else on Instagram. Let's launch the Instagram app. Okay, let's say we want to do this one over here, right? As you can see, when you click on the top right corner, the three dots, you don't have any option to do anything about it. So what we can go about it, essentially, first option will be this. You want to screenshot it, right? You can screenshot it if you want to share this one. After you screenshot, okay, you want to save it. Then you want to go back, right? You saw the account. Then you want to click on add story. This is the picture and then you want to make sure that you tag the person you click mention and here you tag the person this is option number one if you go back right if you go back and again you click on on the story or the same one right the second option will be if you click uh, you can go on the actual profile of the person and you want to look if they have the actual picture if they have the actual picture, you can actually send this picture and add yourself to it, right? But so far, Instagram did not actually add a manual feature in which you can share other people's stories on your own. So this is how you can go about it. Screenshot the actual story, tag the right person, right? And this tag will appear as a message in the account and most likely they're going to interact and you can once when you when you tag them and if they see it if they like it right you might actually uh build up a even better relationship and probably they, they're going to send you the original post so you can actually share even with with better quality and this is how you actually you know step by step you repost other people's story with giving them credit of course for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can download for free instagram real videos let's jump right to instagram and let's try to find the video that we want to download okay let's say we want to download this video over here all you gotta do is to click on the three dots on the top right corner of the video right then i want you to click link there is a button the second button link you want to click on it and we just copied the link from the video on our clipboard now i want you to go on google chrome and i want you to look for this website over here it's called publer.io when you're at publer all you gotta do is to again paste the link that we just copied and click download so this particular website over here will download videos for you without watermark uh, they don't ask you for registrations and also I'm looking here they said there is no ads on the website I don't know I'm scrolling through the feed I cannot see any okay here is the video over here here is the download button you can actually just click post and if you have linked your IG which I'm not suggesting uh, I haven't linked my IG 
So essentially, also guys, this website allows you to download photos from Instagram, videos from Instagram, stories from Instagram. Also, you can download TikTok videos from here. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to hide your Instagram followers and Instagram following list. First thing you want to do, you want to launch the Instagram app. Then you want to head to the lower right corner where you see your profile picture. Then you want to head to the top right corner where you see the three straight lines. You want to click on the three straight lines and then you want to click on settings and privacy. Then you want to scroll down and you want to find a section that is called who can see your content. You see account privacy is the first option. You want to click on the account privacy. Currently my account is public, but if I want to hide everything, I can simply toggle this on and it will turn my account private. What this actually means, this means that all the content that I previously posted, all the followers that I have, all the following people that following me, simply will not be available for other people to see. My content only will remain available for my current followers and everyone who comes to my profile and sees, for example, I have 100 followers and I'm following 100 people, they will be able to see the number 100, but they are not going to be able to click on this number. They're not going to be able to scroll through my followers or through my following list. This is very important. This is how you keep up with your privacy. This is how you prevent particular people to, you know, dig in uh, and essentially trying to, you know, create something negative for you or your own content. This is how you actually go about providing a protection on your following list, on your followers and on your content. Again, a very important note is that if you have a business account on Instagram, you're not going to be able to turn it into private. From business account, you have to go back to the personal account and then you can make your personal account private. Uh, this is very important note. Uh, I want to make sure you guys are aware of this. Uh, for more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get back your recently deleted highlights on Instagram. Very easy, very simple. Let's launch the Instagram app first. Then I want you to click on the lower right corner on your profile picture. Then I want you to hit the top right corner and click on the three straight lines. Now I want you to scroll down to the section your activity is the fourth option. I want you to click on it. Then when you're on your activity, you want to scroll down to removed and archived content. I want you to click on recently deleted. And here you will find all the deleted posts, all the deleted stories, IGTV, all the deleted videos and reels, including highlights on your own profile. Everything will be over here and you will simply be able to click on it and restore the content. Very easy, very simple. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to temporarily deactivate your Instagram account. First of all, let's launch the Instagram app. The first thing that you want to do is to you want to click on the lower right corner with your profile picture. You click on it when you already launch your own page. The top left corner is where you see your name and your nickname and on the top right side is the three lines that you want to click on. When you click the three lines, you will have the options menu where the first one is settings and privacy is the one that you're looking for. You click on settings and privacy and then you click on the brand new function that was added through the recent update, which is account center. You click on the account center. Then you want to look at the second part of the menu, which is titled account settings. Now you want to click on personal details. You click on personal details and here you will find account ownership and control. This is the final menu we're going to launch. You click on it. Now you're having account ownership and control already launched. This is where you're going to find how to permanently de activate or delete your account very important there is a huge difference between both actions and i want to make sure that you're aware what could happen if you choose one 
over the another. When you click on deactivation or deletion, you will simply see the page that is associated with this account or other pages associated with this account if you linked multiple pages. This is very important because in this way you might actually choose to permanently delete, download your data and forget about this account or you can simply deactivate the account for uh, extended time frame in which you're not going to be able to communicate or not going to be able to uh, simply interact with with your followers this is important because anyone who actually message you or try to reach you out when your account is actually deactivated they won't be able to do so in fact new people won't be able to find you at all when your account is actually deleted you would have 30 days in which if you change your mind you will be able to log back in and actually to relaunch and recover your account this is very important this is also the rule that works for facebook if you try to delete your account or facebook page you have 30 days grace period in which if you change your mind you're still gonna be able to regain access to your account for more videos like this guys subscribe to the channel and come back for more hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to hide your instagram followers in your following list first thing you want to do you want to launch the instagram app then you want to head to the lower right corner where you see your small profile picture you want to click on it then you want to head to the top right corner where you see the three straight lines you want to click on them and then you want to click on settings and privacy then you want to slowly but surely scroll down to the section that is called who can see your content you want to click on the first option which is account privacy when you're at account privacy if you want to hide your account your followers your following list you have to toggle this in this will simply transform your account from public to private and this means that the only people that still will be able to see your content, your photos and pictures will be the people who are currently following you, people who accepted to become your followers. This doesn't mean that you cannot filter the content and the privacy even more. You can actually filter from your current following list to particular people not seeing your content this is similar as the one that you have on facebook where you can post and the post will be visible for your friends and you can accept some of your friends to not see the post what else well according to instagram when you actually make your account private your post simply can be seen by any one of your Instagram, even if they don't have an Instagram account, okay? When your account is private, only the followers who you approve, like I mentioned, will be able to see your content. And again, you know how sometimes you're able to find people by looking at their name or their nickname, but you cannot see who are they following you see they're following 100 people you try to click you cannot see who they're following you see they have 100 followers you try to click you cannot see who is following them this is what actually comes from making your account private for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to add music to your instagram post first thing you want to do you want to launch the instagram app then you want to click on the lower right corner where you see your profile picture. You click on the profile picture and when you're on your actual profile, you want to head to the top right corner and hit the plus sign. You want to select a post. Then when you decide which post you want to post, for example, we have this picture. I'm going to use this picture and I'm going to hit next. This is the step where you can actually add the music. Looking at the center of the screen, you have, you have the small note icon. You click on the note icon and this is where you find all the music. So music is split into two different options. First of all, you have For You, which is currently popular. We're at Christmas time. As you can see, a lot of Christmas songs. 
The second option is you can actually manually browse through different genres. You have birthday celebration music, you have R&B, so pop, rap, hip hop, whatever, right? So you can go about manual or you can go to what is currently popular. Next, right before moving to the next step, you can simply select the different filters for your posts right over here. You don't have to wait for the next step. After you select the filters, you can simply move and click next. This is where you add captions, uh, as usual, location, hashtags, but very, very important. I'm going to give you this pro tip. Let's say you didn't like the song that you add, but you're already at the last step of the posting, right? You don't have to go back. Here is why. You can actually change the song if you scroll down. You see a menu option that it says add music. This is where you can actually replace the previous song or choose a new one without losing the progress of the post. Very simple, very easy. When you change the song, you just hit next. And there you have it. This is how you add music to your Instagram post. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add song or music on your Instagram story. Let's launch the Instagram app first. Then you want to head to the top left corner and you want to click on the plus sign next to your story. Now, let's select the piece of content we want to upload. We chose this picture. And now, if you look at the top settings menu, you will have a small note icon. You want to click on the small note icon and this is where you will be able to find a bunch of music, a bunch of songs. There is different categorization over here. The first category over here is for you. So this is what is currently trending. The second option will be to simply browse through different genres. Birthday songs, R&B songs, pop, hip hop, whatever. If you're looking for a particular song, you have to head to the top where you see the search bar and it says search music. You want to click on it and you want to input the title or the artist. When you finish finding the song, all you got to do is to click add and this will simply appear over here. Now, if you proceed with publishing, right, there isn't a chance to replace the song. I show you in other videos how if you add music to your regular Instagram post or on your Instagram story, the last step before publishing the story or the post, you will have additional option to replace or change the song. In Instagram story, you don't have this option. So essentially, you want to be very careful when you're picking up the song. Because when you click next or when you click share, that, that's going to be it, right? You're not able to edit or change it after publishing the story. If you did a mistake now, then you have to delete it and start all over again. And this is how you add music to your Instagram story. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to snooze the recommended post and the suggested post on Instagram feed. Let's dive in. First thing, let's launch the Instagram app. Then you want to head to the lower right corner and you want to click on your profile picture. Then when you're on your profile, you want to go ahead and click on the three straight on the three straight lines on the top right corner. Then I want you to click on settings and privacy. And then you have to slowly scroll down to the section that is called what you see. I want you to click on content preferences. In content preferences, you have an option which is snooze suggested post in the feed. When you actually click this one on, you will have all the suggested posts will be hidden in your feed for the next 30 more days. Okay, this is a good thing if you don't interact with any of the suggested posts. Remember, suggested posts are not usually something that the algorithm of Instagram knows you're going to like for sure. They're just testing you. So they want to make sure that what you're watching is the closest possible to your interest. So in the future, they will be able to offer ads in front of you that you most likely going to buy, right? The conversion rates will be higher. And this is good for the business of Instagram because they will bring much more people to run ads on the platform. So this is how you're going to snooze the actual suggestions. 
Now, if we go back right to the feed and click the home page, well, guess what? You're not gonna get any particular suggestions that are not related because as you saw my account is related to windsurfing right so if i'm on the home page right i'm gonna get all the content that is coming from people who i'm currently following right but when i click on search right it usually gonna give me content that i'm not subscribed to but after we actually snooze the suggestions as you can see i am getting mostly uh surfing content mostly uh, content related to my followers so this is good guys for more tips and tricks like this subscribe and follow for more hi guys in this simple video i'm going to show you how to archive and unarchive posts on instagram very easy simple let's dive in first thing first let's launch the instagram app then you want to grow on your profile bunch of posts let's say for example we want to archive this one over here you want to click on the three dots on the top and you want to click on the third option which says archive you click archive and there you have it the post is no longer on the actual feed as you can see the post was number one the post is no longer here let's say you did a mistake let's say you like this video you want to get this video back and you want to unarchive this video how are you going to go about it well it is not so complicated but i would say it it is very very slim because if you go back to the three dots on the top right corner and then when you click on archive the fifth option over here you have three options the default option will be this and when you go here you're not gonna find what you just archived because it is a post it is not a story also you have live archives live videos that you publish or you went live right so this is why this is the slim part like i mentioned you have to go on the actual type of content that you archived in our case we have two videos this is the first one we actually archived so let me show you how we are going to unarchive this video we're going to click on the three dots on the top and then you're going to click on show on profile boom the video is no longer archived the view is no longer inside the archive we have one more video i don't know when and why i did actually archive this one again three dots on the top and then show on profile boom we have no longer posts on archive very simple very easy you refresh the feed boom the, the video is here everything is here for more tips like this guys subscribe and follow for more hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how to schedule a post on instagram let's launch the instagram app then you want to click on the lower right corner and hit on the profile okay then you want to hit on the top right corner and click on the three straight lines now when you're on the settings menu i want you to click on the third option which is schedule content when you click on schedule content now we have the option to schedule a brand new post you want to click on schedule now let's select the post this is what we're going to schedule you can actually select the multiple images multiple posts by simply clicking on the double square for pictures or videos whatever you like when you are ready with a single post in our case you can press next and then you can press next if you're ready you can add more music over here We're not gonna do that you can press next and then you have a very small interesting option over here which is essentially schedule the post not posting it if you click advanced settings you can click over here and you can click schedule this post when you do this you can schedule the timing you can schedule the date you can schedule the am or the pm and then you can simply click done and there you have it your post will be scheduled for posting at this time at this day for more tips and tricks like this guys subscribe and follow for more in today's video i'm going to show you how to find out what is the best time to post on instagram first thing you want to do you want to launch the instagram app then you want to click on the lower right corner at your profile picture then guys very important when you're at your landing page on your account you want to click on professional dashboard over here you will find a lot of information that you could simply use when publishing how publishing and what actually works and what doesn't on the platform this is where you want to click first you want to click on total followers and then you want to scroll down to the actual activity this is the hourly chart 
and daily chart of when you have the most active users and when is the best time to publish. For example, if you click on one of these blue bars, you will see the number of hours that are available per day. This simply will help you to know which day is the best to publish the most of your content. If we break this down into hourly chart, you will see that this is a time frame when you have majority of your hours active by every single day. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more.